whatever you want to call it. I know there's a little bit of a hubbub right now. It's like, who's the best region? Well, right here, this is going to be another stepping stone towards that moniker. That's why if you're looking at towards a player right now, it's Uzi. Uzi on People's Republic of China is the star player to watch play the game. You cannot just look past the laning phase as they did in the previous game. They will try and nail you down on the lane phase. And they'll have the pre preparation, or at least the backing of Faker, who will likely pick the galley if it's given to him. So a lot of focus is going to be the towards the bottom lane. But I feel like if the top side gets tilted into Keen's favor, that looks undoubtedly uh, difficult for China, because then you're going to have the top lane uh, pile down and down for you. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom lane, you'll have what seems to be a good Blanc is still open. Yeah. There we go, a colleague immediately getting locked in. But Faker is an incredible. In fact, he started his career just nailing players down on the LeBlanc. I want to see right here in the best of one, him just lock it in. And the f just all ending on their top side. Because <laughs> this is actually very difficult now if you're China. Now you've locked in a Kaisa that is very likely going to get pushed in repeatedly. And a Kali just has bad pushing matchups. So Korea has a very intelligent draft. Right. That being said, the Rakan locked in means that they have a lot of engage opportunities. Yeah, the Birdman comes in alongside Kaisa. I mean, you know, Uzi is not a, a man to turn down, you know, when a, when a gauntlet is being thrown in front of him. It's like, heck yeah, lock me in the Kaisa. Give me a playmaking support. I got Mako alongside me. I'll be the best, if not top two, Rakan in the entire LPL league right here. So that, that might Ooh. be an Akali top lane. It could be an Olaf top. There's lane. a lot of things Wait. it could be, but remember, Hang Olaf on. has to be jungle. It has here. to. Yeah, that is literally the only jungle. <laughs> so you just picked the only. <laughs> yeah, wrong I picked the only. Out of the all the right answers, I picked the. <laughs> I, I respect the hustle, though. I respect it. But yeah, Akali might put this in my mind. <laughs> Akali might go top lane, which is great. Uh, one thing to take note of is the, no uh, mana cost there. So if you're uh, Republic of Korea, you want to pick up a top lane. You want to try in something that has sustained damage that can consistently stay in lane. Now, GP is not that. GP the opposite of that, right? is the opposite. I was thinking more of a NAR pick here as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you might have the all-in against you, because Akali might be able to take all-in, especially... Score looking to set a potential gank here onto Let Me Flash. And the E coming out there. Let Me try and jump away from this one, but has to turn around. I mean, his only hope is to look for a trade. And that will be first blood over to the jungle of Korea. Just great timing there, because of course Baker had to push in the mid lane, so there's no opportunity for anyone to go up top side to help him out. And MLX2 is coming out of base. So on the top side of the map right here, I believe scores just been spotted by that ward. There so go. the Sheen's going to help, yes, but there still is the uh, burst potential coming from the card that's going to zone him away from these minions. And like she's saying, no, Pick it no, back up. no, easy recall for you. Going to try and put him to sleep, but he's going to make the heroic exit. I don't even know where he's gone. That position, as long as we're hugging that turret, we should be fine, which is correct. That being said, you're going to put that on hold in the top lane. Oh, there. yeah, no one expects the Berserker coming out of the jungle with Predator's key. Oh. Goes with the orange right there. Double flash coming through. Double ultimate, but that's still going to be a return kill. Keen, playing that one exceptionally well. Hugging his tower, really well done. Now, there is no opportunity to be able to get it done. That being said, we didn't see it didn't happen. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> happened. You can't run away from this one. That actually turns into a bottom lane tower immediately because he's committing to this one. So while on the top side, of course, you make the dive happen. Great. Akali may take the tower, but she goes into obscurity, so it's going to be Olaf, and you playing that. She went through a CS, but let's you get to see what happens on the bottom side. Roll the very low, but I expect it's just to set it from barrel. Oh, wow. Wow. Coming out from the score, yeah. And Core JJ just getting the secure in there at the end. Trin Dragon went. All eyes are on it. It's actually incredibly risky to look for. Gank opportunity here. Uzi's taking a lot of damage, and it's actually Mako going forwards. Finds the triple charm right there. Olaf coming into the bottom lane. Korea moving forwards, but actually needs to pay respect right now, because Shea looking for that bubble. Been putting Tam Kench to sleep, but not permanently. China look to disengage. It's a big just kidding. <laughs> At the end of the day. Uh, Mako played that one out masterfully, because he could have actually been bopped himself. Uh, but incredibly... You know, Whistful getting here and out and there. Uh, the fact that Dragus couldn't find a great opportunity to put on his own cast, so he just didn't. And when he tried to go for a body slam, you might see something on Ruler. Oh, got the Gallo Ultimate coming down. Mako caught right in the middle of that one. Double Torn coming through, and he is slapped down with a Colossal Smash. Faker still moving forward. Flash coming through. Animation can't on the Justice Punch. And score looks for more. Blasters forward, but now he's under attack from Uzi. Takes that full Akathian Reign. It comes Sheer. He wants blood right now. Now will be the shutdown. Axe coming through from the Olaf. Sheer now corralling Faker, turning around, looking for the damage onto Uzi. Doesn't have the cooldowns, and Uzi will find his kill. There we go. China made something out of nothing, and that's good enough. The fact that the dive ended up happening here from Korea 
Well done, but went way too deep. In fact, even chose the wrong target. Tried so hard to get on toward Demolex G. Forgot that the AD carrier was right beside you. So take a look at this, because it started with China going straight on towards Ruler, but of course Tom Kench is going to whisk you away. There's no way you can get on top of him. Great kill on towards Mako, and then this is where the dive happens. Just look at Uzi. He's like just being forgotten, getting free damage on towards the Gragas, and no one was even touching him. So uh, at the end of the day, Shea comes through and actually just makes the cleanup happen. It was a great start from Korea, poor ending from them. Yeah, I mean, that was just massive value MLXG you got out of both his Ragnarok and the Flash. It's almost as if when aggressing on him, they were just like, there's no way he has any of his summoners or cooldowns whatsoever. <laughs> it's like, hello? Like, MLXG hasn't even visited the lane in the last five minutes. On the Baron, I'd love to see it. You can already see it. Is he going to follow it up? I mean, probably. I mean, he's got a ton of damage right now. Keen turning around, pops a cannon broad, prevents him from going any further and scores. And coming down from the river, looks for the flash as well. Gets the slowdown from the barrel roll, falls over the ultimate, and he is dead before he lands. Kill over, parlay, kill to Keen. No escape whatsoever. He tried, but Predator Gragas' man runs at you. He just waddles in your direction. You're like, he's gonna, I have so many dashes, but there ain't no way for me to escape. At the very least, he can make the call towards the top side of the map to actually make the push going. Rift Trail is going to smash into the second there. Come out if you can. If you hit somebody, hit him. Smack him on the head. Nice. 2018 thrush, baby. <laughs> <Make> <laughs> <a> pay. <laughs> Oh. For something faker pushing forwards though will not be able to find any punches on the rack the rocking Olaf. What a dodge coming out of there from Mako. Draws out the arrow as well and score cannot find anything. Multiple flashes burned from China though. Yeah, double flash. They knew that score was gonna look for him, so that's key. That is pivotal for the next fight. Knowing, you know, putting down in the chat that China is not ready for the next fight, won't have the flashes, so it's gonna be much easier to actually look for a kill on Uzi if they, so if he can actually get both his E and Q of all. Right, look for a dive here. This is their way to get into oh, the game. Oh, they're setting up and the killer instinct is there. One Keen more. trying to kite backwards, but he is a fast gangplank. This is the day that you almost caught Cam Jack Keen. Yeah, no way you can touch him. That's actually three people bottom lane, so if you wanna be the one on top of it, it's gonna blow a blue thing. I'll get him! Oh. He found him on the body slam and he was stunned when he got out of that portal, but he's still going to be able to uh, dip and dive away from this one. I believe top lane tower just actually fell during the chaos there, two faker on top of that, so Korea is still winning out of these trades. True, but it wasn't as big of a punish as I'd like it. Yeah. If you saw them all hanging around mid lane, they weren't on Baron, when three people were bot side. Very close, let's Dicing go. Dicing with Beth there, Shie, and it's going to be the arrow connecting onto Maker, but the follow through is still here from score. He had the ultimate and the flash available if they wanted to collapse, but Korea, they only go for these 100% percentage plays, man. Like, they, it, even if there is a chance of failing, just don't go for them after that bottom lane dive. We okay. yeah. are back in. Heck yeah, let's go. 29 minutes into the game. Faker coming down, making oh. a rogue entrance, and Mako hella dead. Where is he coming from? I don't know. He came from off screen. Everyone just pressed buttons at the same damn time. That's and you see. Oh, there. wait a minute. Tom Catch is going somewhere. Ah, uh, Shie, you're done. He's going on an abyssal voyage. Oh, Shie, he's on the run. Run, Forest, run! All right, Faker's got him in his sights. And you're going to have to come back, son. Yeah, that's going to be a colossal smash. Easy kill to Faker. It literally all happened at the same time. I hope we get a replay on that one. I hope so, At the right. very least, we're going to be seeing the Baron being done. So for how tension, there's a lot of tension around the Baron area, and it all broke right there. So Korea should have an easy Baron there. Yes, it did. 30 minutes on the clock, and a Baron will be going down to Korea. The setup was good that we saw from the Vision, and apparently that just uh, turned into it. a straight-up <laughs> win there. Yeah, I wasn't going to comment on that one. <laughs> it looked like that was coming out from Lemmy. But nice, uh, yeah, he's looking up for those cleanup kills and those full health targets. So, um, yeah, uh, happened all in one go. Congratulations. All right, we're going to have to play some CSI here, examine the crime scene. They didn't even need the Galley ulti because he used it on top of people defensively. So, all right. Oh, his. The fake is fine, actually. He's he's super fine in this one versus two. He just have to, has to get the heck out of dodge as Maker's now being chased down. Faker, three seconds left on the Justice Punch, but we'll be able to... Oh, oh the dodge coming through from Mako and Uzi! Managed to find a shield on that one, but Mako might be the sacrificial Birdman. No, he's going to be fine on this. Faker takes the final tower shot, reduces the damage from the idol, but... Uh, oh, man. Spicy. Or oh, MLXG. That's not going to work. Lines MLXG. up the shot. You don't have people here, MLXG. Please. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just all eyes on Gragas in that one, because he was definitely coming out of flank, even through the ultimate. 
is what happens. They're even holding the wave a little bit so they can actually do it at the same time. Oh, here we go. Here is Entrance joining the fray, but that's a stun down. That will be an instant kill onto Uzi. The star player is dead. Double kill over to Ruler. Score into the base and Sheer jumps over outside of his base to escape this onslaught. But that's cool, JJ on top of his face. He's going to spit him out. That's going to be another kill. Make that the quadra kill for Ruler. That's a team wipe. Every single member down on China's side. And just like that, game ends. 33 minutes, Korea blasting the Repu People's Republic of China. Case closed, Inspector Plasm. Four ace coming in for Korea right there. And it almost was anticlimactic in the end, wasn't it, folks? Nexus goes down, and Korea take the win. All right, 80% jacked up to 100%. Korea had such a great stranglehold based off of the team composition, strong play around what MLXG was doing, so he yeah. had no way to impact these lanes. Made it very difficult for the squad to be able to deal with. And a lot onto that invisible team fight as well. Ah, that yes. Is, uh, definitely a large part of the win here for Korea. Scooby so feeling good. Two and zero now, leading the group in Group A. China now moving to one and one. This is how you know, TV shows usually leave it, leave it to the audience. To their imagination how that fight actually happened. How oh, Mako was so adventurous. Somehow Mako was in the bottom side of the map. It's up to you guys to figure out how that happened. There you go, fill in the blanks. Figure it out. Come up with your own story. It's so probably correct. You're not wrong. Well deserved win going over to Korea. Played it well from start to finish. One small blunder, but it's really about the recovery. And I think that was probably the cleanest recovery I've seen in a long while coming out from the team. It's like, all right, messed up on the bottom side. Instantly reset uh, tempo, reset momentum. And China didn't really manage to take the extra mile. They got the inch, but that was essentially it. And that is just a, a rare sight when you look at any Chinese squad. Yeah. And 100%, I would say look towards what is in, you know, what's about to happen in day two. Taking a bow, Korea took down the top two teams of the group. And they're set to face Kazakhstan tomorrow. Yes, sir. So immediately, favorites for the first place here uh, in, in their group at the very least before they go into the second final. Korea's having a great time.